Well, hello people. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert this Excel illustration into this SQL Server query. You can see on the left side here, there is example of the Excel illustration with the complex formula. And this section will be as an output for our system. There are several tables in this sheet. So every single table has a their formula. And on the middle here, this is the output of our system. Let me check the formula. That will be look up to this table and this table contains this percentage and look up to another table section here and the table over here this will be summarized to the left side here and let me show you how to example this work so this is the section for input if i put another number like four and and the column benefit and percentage will be changed automatically so that will be look up to every single field in here they get the percentage and then they calculate with this sum insured so let's convert this detail formula into our sql server firstly i need to convert this matrix table into simple table and i have converted to this table right so this table will be uploaded to the sql server this is the table that this is the table that i create in the sql server and this table contains the data from excel matrix here we only need to upload this table you can say this is the matter of the calculation from complex formula in here right so we don't need to uh, upload this one or even this one because those tables just contain the formula not the master of data right so let's go back to our sql server and now let's create sql formula okay first we need to create some variable here let's create period benefit either so those variables that we need to create for put the value from our looping and the next one we need to declare some table here i mean just only one table here okay let me say with table illus as a table with one two three four five with five columns inside that table this is just only temporary table and next we need to create a looping script okay we want to loop until seven period because the maximum period is seven so so we only put the seven as a limited looping okay and we also need to create another looping this is for looping and every single month as you can see this section table uh, this number is indication of every single month in every single years right uh, for example if i put this into one period that will be looping until 12 and if i change this into two right that also looping until 24 that's mean it's showing full number of months in every period that we put in here okay so i think that's quite clear right so we have two looping first for every year or period and the second one is for every single month inside period okay let's go back now let's continue so now we need to check our semester here this will be set some value so in this person's variable, we set the variable by lookup to master table in here as the table section did in here, right? This is the summarize of a two, right? We also need to do in in this section, okay? That's clear. And after we get the percentage of this table or our master table, then we put into temporary table, right? Okay, this looping is for period I semester I semester for indication for for indicate this section okay I loop is for number of month and so this part will defined by this function okay so we want to get the percentage from uh, this table okay and another term we put with this formula one minus percent and calculate with our benefit so this function is provided in this section right this will be look up and then calculate with our some insured field okay right so let's next okay we set looping number another set okay that's pretty cool so we set i looping for this looping and the last we just only need to select the 
table illustration that we already declared and and make us insert table during this looping right so now let's try our sql script let me change this value like this just put it to right and execute now okay the result is below here let's expand to up here right i think i need to just comment here right all right this is the result that we get inside our sql script so let's us check this right the first one is 200 okay the first one is and this 200 will be over until six right okay that's with one percent right percentage is one and number seven 150 right with what with 0 0.75 okay that's pretty cool and another one is 13 13 100 that's cool and and the last semester i think this is the last semester right uh 19 until 24 19 until 24 is 50. yeah we have a same result i think that's pretty cool and let's check another column the we want to check this semester number let's check this one is o okay one two three until 24 three until 24 that's pretty cool perfect let's change another scenario let's move to this one and change with number four number four we do also need to change this with four number the result is change and let's execute okay that's pretty cool okay and let's check the semester first it's will over until seven semester seven semester like check on the left here okay that's pretty cool with 48 right here but with let's check the percentage of one two five that's cool 25 okay okay on number semester of four let me check this is four semester Okay, 100, 100 with percent of 1.5. Whoa, that's pretty cool. This is really simple script that will convert from this complex formula. If you can see, this problem is quite confusing, right? So you need to look up to this summarize table. And the output itself, we also need to look up to this table. So I think that's quite complex formula from this illustration Excel. But we already convert this complex formula into this simple script that's pretty cool i think that's all from me i hope you can get benefit from this video and if you might find this video helpful for you please subscribe comment and like this video to support my channel thank you very much and see you in the next video